Russian President Vladimir Putin has arrived in Azerbaijan on a two-day official visit. Putin's plane landed at Haydar Aliyev International Airport in Baku on Sunday. The Russian leader was welcomed at the airport by Azerbaijan's first Deputy Prime Minister Yagub Ayabov, Deputy Foreign Minister Samir Sharifov and other officials. Putin then visited Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev's residence in Baku. During Putin's official visit, the two countries will hold talks around the issues of further development of Russia-Azerbaijan strategic partnership and alliance relations, as well as current international and regional problems, local media reported. A joint statement of the heads of state on the results of the visit, intergovernmental and other documents are expected to be signed during Putin's visit to the South Caucasus country. Georgi Zakrevsky, the founder and leader of the Paladin paramilitary group, has publicly called on Russian military and security personnel to overthrow the current regime in Moscow. He slammed President Vladimir Putin for what he described as a vertical of power made up of scoundrels and sycophants who constantly lie about the prosperity of Russia. According to open source information, fighters from the Paladin private military company have participated in conflicts in Africa and Syria, according to UA Wire media outlet. Speaking in a video released on the War Union Paladin YouTube channel, Zakrevsky declared, Our country is not just on the brink of disaster, we are already in disaster. Drones are flying all over central Russia, up to Moscow and St. Petersburg. They even attacked the Kremlin. Our Black Sea Fleet is being decimated as if we are a third-rate country, not a great power with a large fleet. Our aviation is practically not working because it is also being worn out. We are stagnant at the positions we reached over two years ago, and in some places we have even retreated. The population is dying out, becoming impoverished, and turning to drink and nobody cares. They only manage to bring in more migrants. All of this has been orchestrated by the so-called president, the Great Putin. Zakrevsky emphasized that this situation cannot continue, citing a level of incompetence that cannot even be imagined. He called on everyone to join their union to save the country. The point of no return has already been passed. It will be very difficult regardless, but the longer this continues, the worse it will get, he stressed. He openly criticized the current power structure, describing them as a bunch of rogues and sycophants. They present some herd as the future of Russia, and today's people who have seized power in my country are simply complete scum, who appoint their own kind. There is limited information available about the Paladin group online. Although the organization's YouTube channel suggests it is a military union, the Paladin website explicitly identifies it as a private military company with fewer than 300 personnel. The website states that the group has been involved in conflicts in Africa and Syria and claims it is guarding three strategic sites. The headquarters of Paladin is located in Moscow. In February 2023, Georgi Zakrevsky, offered 250,000 hryvnias or $6,080 to Ukrainian soldiers for the capture of soldier Sergei Makarenko from the Ukrainian Armed Forces 95th Assault Brigade. 
Zakrevsky also offered a bounty for foreigner Joshua Lopez, who was helping the Ukrainian armed forces clear Russian troops from the village of Petropavlivka in Kharkiv Oblast's Kupiansk region, as well as for his comrades 500,000 rubles or $5,600 for the commander, 1,000, 100,000 rubles or $1,120 for comrades.